Come hear me, little Jackie. No, I've smoked me bucky. Have a bit of cracky till the boat comes in. Dance to the daddy, sing to the mummy. Dance to the daddy, to the mummy, sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy. Thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. Anybody at home? Trying to light a fire. I meant here. Where's the coal? You can't afford to come home in the middle of term. I borrowed a bike. Oh, it's yours. Coal, Jesse, coal. There's none left. We use the last bucket for long Wednesday. What? Well, you can't expect free coal to last forever. It's two months they've been locked out now. Pittman's house and no coal. I don't get paid till a week on Friday. I was thinking I might pawn something. You what? Well, there's that gold brooch my granny left me. You'll do nought of the sort. Buy coal? I'd rotten hell first. Why all the row then? And who's been wasting money on a bike? Oh, it's you, Billy. Hello, ma'am. Oh, Pet. Get down with these, bunny lad. How long are you stopping? You came all the way from Edinburgh on that bike. Yeah. Mad. You got lectures on Monday morning? Mm. So, it's the long haul back on Sunday. Mabby's. Where's my dad, ma'am? I cannot make out what he's up to. What do you mean, Mabby's? But he's up to something. He's gone to see Seth Walker. I said, what do you mean, Mabby's? What's he got to see Seth Walker for? Will you answer my question? God knows, but he's up to something. Well? A couple of days, Mabby's. So our Tom got any coal left then? Not the last of the weekend. I saw him on the way back from school, said he was going down the beach to see if he could find his sea coal. What's the matter, Billy? Matter? Mary, any better, did he say? No worse, he said. Come on, Billy. There's something. Hey, Billy, you never said how long you're stopping. I'm stopping. Well, how, how long? How long? Look, I'm sick to death of that lot up there. Patronising and smiles. We'll make a jolly good doctor of him, won't we? Good Lord, man, Billy. You're man enough to ignore all that. That's just it. You don't ignore it. You suddenly find you're picking up their habits. Well, you've got to fit in, honey. Listen, ma'am. Last night in the bar, this fella pours a bottle of beer over my head with the words, I now anoint you, one of us. He's in casualty with a broken nose. You're not leaving that university, Billy. I'll not let you. Try and stop us. I cut me throat rather than join that Billy, lot. come and sit down here. I'm going out. See if I can do something useful. Billy, come... What are we going to do about him? I don't know. It's getting time to cool off. I'll get him back to Edinburgh if I have to drag him all the way there by the scruff of the neck. For heaven's sake, don't mention it to Dad. Not a word, Mum. Look, that's what I like to see in a board looking. Right. A big, bold heat. A big, bold heat. Get these fellas swearing by cocks that look like hens. Right. Like that one over there. Proper henny he done. Me good to me. Can have a bent keel, a broken keel even, as long as it's got a big heat. Well, that'll look funny to me, Seth. But what about the Sammy? Sammy Pitt? Oh, right. that was close for I 50 years ago, well, man. No, that, man. It was close long before I saw it. Look. Yes. What do you think of that, eh? Huh? Seven year old, she is, you know. Yeah. A fortnight ago, I thought I'd give her our last race. Damn me if she didn't come in second, eh? You know? She might have been forced for her, eh? I wasn't expecting her back that old. See, I get to do it with the clock, and there she was. Sitting to the duck, at bless her. Lord knows how long she'd been there. Maybe we're putting her to stock now, but... I let her hatch a few decent squeakers. And where was the Sammy Pitt exactly, sir? Sammy Pitt? Oh, that was a terrible place. I was places you were up to your thighs in water. 
I was glad to see the back of it. Me father and I'll. I wasn't there. It was poor cool, man. And where exactly was it, no, sir? Thank God for that. What? Thank the Lord. It's not him. You look at the summit. It's not him. Look here. I want to know where that come from. Man. That was on the loft floor when I come in. The buggers have been fighting. That's a flight, fella. Uh, listen, sir. I only hope it's not up a good and that's out. Uh, Is there any sign of a settlement yet, lad? No. Nah. Ah, well. Lord be lying, though. They'll be crying a cool short me. Listen, sir. The Sammy now. Oh, man. Look at Are you still on a boot, that? Aye. The block the entrance of, right? It'll be chock full of what I know. It was doomed by the river bank. I know that. I know that. It was a drift mine, right? Aye. And where exactly was it? Where it was. What the hell do you want to know for? Never mind. Where was it? Well, you know where they built the co op bakery on Stevenson Road? Aye. Well, it was a back of the air. Maybe it's a hundred yards back. You could barn I spit in the river, man. Right. Now we're getting somewhere. Next question. Hey, Seth, listen. Thinking of going down on the back shift? College boy. Oh, hell. I didn't think college boys like to get their hands dirty. How do you know? Oh, it's Ropper. Ropper, the shove hapenny champion of standard three. Please, Constable Robson, if you don't mind. Oh. It's Ropper the copper now, is it? We can't all get fancy scholarships. No, you're not going to charge us, are you, Ropper? And why not? Attempting to steal the property of the Bose Mining Company? Whose property? It belongs to me father and our kid. Oh, you tell that to the magistrates. And your father? Has he got coal? Other way around. Eh? Coal's got him. The dust. He died a year past March. You what? Your own father. Your own father! Oh, we, man. Which way were you working the seam at the semi? Ah, will you not let it rest? Hey, no, the seam at the semi, sir. Which way were you working it? What for? Never mind. Was it north to south? Aye. I don't think was it. Ah, ah, ah. Here, come here. Look at that. What? That's it, see? Uh. The fighting cock. One flight missing. One flight missing. Is he good, bud? Well, he's just a young'un. It's hard to tell yet, you see. Uh, is he finished now, bud? Well, it's a handicap. You never know. You never know. You know, out at the Sarah, we're working the seam north to south. No? Do you reckon it's the same seam? Well, the Sarah was due south of where the Sammy was. So anywhere along that lane, you're standing on the seam, right? Well, I couldn't tell you that. I was a ghoul, man. Well, why, didn't you, then? You didn't ask us. But you're wasting your time, Bonnie, lad. Who's that? Because if you're thinking of you and cool on your own account, think again. All right. All right. Tried it myself once, man. Did we? 1893, or oh, let's see, forward it was. Up in the fields by Morton Bone on. One of Lord Lampton's gamekeepers set the bobby on us before I got me force bucket full of it. <laughs> and what then? A week's free board and lodgings, that's what. <laughs> Oh, uh, Durham Jail. Aye. So, think again, son. Think uh, again. Well, I'm not find me that easy. Dipping the EBC, sure. When you're down and you think you're going to get any lower, they'll find a way. Aye. Uh, well, we'll see. That's your bike, college boy. Look, uh, now watch it, kidder. Engine core's one thing, but bashing a copper, that's another. Well, of course, it's different when coppers bash Pittman, isn't it? When the sergeant says truncheon's out, PC Robson will get his truncheon out. That's never happened. Yet. And when the sergeant orders a baton charge, PC Robson will charge. And as long as it's not his own father's head he's bashing, I suppose you'll think it's all right. That'll not come to that. You mean you hope it'll not come to that? You mean you hope the miners will accept the wage cut? Get your bike. The capitalists can't make the profits they want, so they're cutting the wages of the miners. You sound like one of them fellas on the soap boxes in the market of a Sunday night. We can't all escape the scholarships and passports to fancy jobs. I've got no fancy job. Yet. Listen, kidder. Getting a copper's job was my little escape route. Not as nice as yours, maybe, but safer all the same. I've got a wife with a burn on the way. So, I've got a house. Regular wages. Three pound ten a week's a fortune as far as I'm concerned. So, all right. If you bash a few of your own kind into submission. If I have to carry out laws that I don't like, then I want somebody to change the laws. Aye, Ropper. Cleft stick. You should listen to them fellas on a Sunday night. You might learn something. I do, kidder, I do. It's all very interesting. Socialism and capitalism. All good stuff, plus conflict. I'm there to stop the conflict. Aye. I'll bet you are. Oh, no, kidder. 
I mean, to keep them apart, the socialists. Some nights they'd screw each other's heads off. How are you, Karl Marx? Up you get. What about the charge? Listen, college boy. You need a place 20 times the size of Durham Jail to keep in all the folk that's trying to pinch coal at the moment. So we've instructions from the sergeant. Treat them like burns, you catch stealing apples, give them a fright and tell them to disappear. So, bye-bye, college boy. Robert? I said bye-bye. For heaven's sake, stop worrying yourself. You know as well as I do, he's willful sometimes. It's an idea into his head and shakes it around like a dog with a slipper. It's more serious than that. Oh, it's no use arguing. You're as bad as he is. Jack coming around tonight? Yes. No. I don't know. It doesn't matter. My word, I'll tell him. Oh, shut up, ma'am. I'm thinking. Hello, love. Look what I... What's the matter with you? Nothing. I'll tell you later. What's that? From Uncle Jack's magic cave. Half a hundred way to best household coal. Shall I put in the coal house? Hardly worth it. Oh. Sorry, I meant... I mean... Oh, never mind. You're an angel, Jack. Thank you. At last. Shall I take it in, then? Yes, please. Sorry, love. Your mind's on something else. Well, what's it all about, then? Hello, Mr. Seaton. Brought you some best roundies. Oh, thank goodness for that. We needed something to cheer us up. <gasps> Lovely. So what's all the misery about, then? Oh, it's sour. Shh. My, we're going to set the chimney ablaze tonight. <laughs> These logs is not for burning. I want a word with you. What the hell is going on, Jesse? Our Billy says he's chucking up his course. He's what? Shh. He doesn't know yet. Oh, hello, Billy, lad. Hey, what are you doing home? He's just down for the weekend. Borrowed a bike, he did all that way. How long are you stopping? I must have known I was going to make a leak pudding, eh, Billy? What's the matter with you, lad? You lost it too, huh? Look what Jack's brought, Dad. Half a hundred weight of coal. Oh, that's very good of you, Jack. Sure you can spare it. What's wrong with him? No, that's not spare, really. I bought it off a fella. Oh, Billy? What, fella? This is no, no. Carpenter down the yard. Oh, where did he get it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Does it matter? It matters a lot, Jack. Hell of a lot. Where do you think he got it? By Morton Burnway somewhere. Oh, I've told you. How get it? Look, I've brought you a present. What's all oh, the fuss about? How did he get it, Jack? You mean another fella's digging out of the bank side? Ah, well, take it back. Let him get your money back. What the hell for? Well, can you see, man? It's no different from Blackleg Cool. No, I don't see. What kind of union do you belong to, lad? The Royal Society of Strike Breakers? What harm are they doing you? They're making a profit from our lockout, you stupid idiot. Steady on, Tad. He was doing us a favour, remember? Aye. Well, do us another favour, Jack, and get them out of here. Hey. Get them out of my house. I'm sorry, Jack, but he's right if you think about it. It may sound daft, but you have to admit he's got a point. What about these? They're Jack to know. Get them out, Bella. Bill, they're a light! Sick. We're not born and now. You do it, Billy. More black coal, Jack. The stuff off the fire? Aye. You're a union man, there's no stopping halfway. Just think if miners started building ships and selling them cheap when you were on strike. I'd love a job. So the shipyard men have had a few cool. It makes sense if you think about it, Jack Love. Aye, maybe. I'll see you, Jesse. Ta-da, Billy. Ta-ra. You've just got his back up. You've not made an enemy for life. Get away. I'll see you, love. been using my saw. Should be in here. Why can't people put things back where they find them? Well, mind somebody sawed a quarter of an inch off the leg of that wobbly chair in the bedroom. Aye, I did. And I put the saw back in here on the top shelf. Aye. What do you mean, why? Well, somebody left a saw on the floor in the bedroom next to that chair that used to be wobbly. So we'll be using those logs you brought in after all. We will not. Isabella, I want the carpet up in the room. All the furniture pushed to one side and the carpet rolled back. What for? Cool your tongue, woman, and do as you told. What's the idea, Dad? Never mind. Go and give your mum a hand, will you? I'd do it with a bit more grace if I knew what I was doing it for. Ah, well, you'll find out soon enough. Mum? Ah, just on that handy. Mum, where is she? She's in the front room. Do you get any sea call? Mum! 
Hi, what's Dominic, all the fuss about? Job, man. Hang in a minute, Mum, have you been up my leaks? Hi, I got a couple this afternoon. From the trench? From the trench, from your prize trench. And take me life in my hands. Now, damn it. Somebody's been out. I'm the two biggest and all. I'll murder her. Oh, somebody's pinched the Holy Grail. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Now, best I've ever grown look like being real whoppers. So there'll be no money about for decent prizes this year? What the hell with prizes? I just want them in the show. Oh, mind, there were a couple of bands playing up around the gardens this afternoon. Well, the which bands? Whose bands? Oh, I couldn't say. The one from about the doors. I've seen them before, like, but the one from about the doors here. <sighs> Damn and blast. What about the sea coal? Do you get any? Waste of time. Look at that. Loads of people down on the beach. Picked clean, it was. Mum, was there anybody else about down the garden? Well, Artie Stiverson was puttering about, but I... Artie right. Stiverson, right, let's see what he's going to say. I'll give you a hand. Oh, wait, wait. Billy! Just a minute, Billy! Oh. Hey, John, man, I need you, man! What the hell? Everybody's going crackers in this house. Well, look who's talking. Hey? Have you got that carpet rolled up? I need some help rolling it back. Well, how are you, then? You know, Jesse. With pleasure, your lordship. If you wouldn't mind telling us what it's all about. You want the back of my hand? Oh, for Bill, for pity's sake, she's not a bairn. No, oh, she's acting like one. Right? If you must know. I may be wrong. That's why I'm keeping it close. But I reckon we're standing on coal. Now, if a whisper of what I'm doing gets out of this house, I'll murder the pair of you. If I dig outside, I get copped. So I'm digging inside where nobody will know. Oh, not in the front room. Should I dig upstairs in the bedroom? I will, you'd have your saw handy. Oh, I will, yet so. You've just been complaining about Jack's mates digging... There's all the difference in the world, Bonnie lass. I'll not be selling. I'll not be making a profit. If there's coal there, it'll go to them as is in most need. Right? So, if the ladies have had their curiosity satisfied, perhaps they'll give us a hand. Yeah, I've had some queer matters in my time, but you'll not beat the band. Where is he? Oh, he's at the pub. Can I help? No, I need to see him. Tell Mr. Stevenson. Here? Is it about your leaks? What do you know about them? Wait, just mentioned the bands. What bands? Wait, didn't say like, but I dare say he knows his cell. Thank you very much, Mrs. Stevenson. He'll be in the snug now, like as not. Right Thank you. I'll be needing a spin in a minute, fella. Oh, the mess. Where are you going to put the sign? Well, maybe I'll pile on the sofa there. Yeah. Don't be soft, woman. There's plenty of room underneath the floorboards. There's room for a ton of muck under there. Go and get the spade. It's in the cool house. Ah, that's what you think. Dad, the foundations. The next thing you know, we'll have the house down around our ears. For pity's sake, Dad, have, have you, you finished? Ha Look how. Have you finished? Yes. Thank you. Listen, Bonnie lass, I'm a pitman, not an odd job, man. When I do a job, I do it properly. What do you think them logs is for? I've no idea. Ah, uh, well, we'll be needing some pit props, won't we? Not for holding up the roof, but for holding up the floor. Ah, oh, that one's a shade of all that. Hands another. There you are. Fits like a glove. Maybe have a damn chuck in when it settles down. How deep are you going to dig? Well, how the hell do I know? Not a coal diviner. Ah, oh, well, they've got coal fields in Australia, they say. Well, I tried to chase them off, but they're a bit too quick for me. Do you know them? Well, I've seen them a bit often enough. You know, know where they live, but? No, I'm not quite sure, like. Oh, but I've often seen them playing about the last two or three doors at the bottom end of uh, Stowell Street there. Yeah, that's all we wanted to know. Aye. Hmm. Bella! Aye? Be a pen and fetch a glass of water. How much tea? I'm just bringing it Oh, even better. Uh, hey, that's a champion. Boy, what a state I'm in. My muscles are like jelly. Eight weeks off work and I'm a wreck. I just had to take it a bit slower. My hands are soft as clots. Ah, oh, they'll toughen up soon enough. Would you like to rub some meths in? I've got a little bottle. Oh, bells. You're not into that, are you? Oh, have a heart. Got some for the primer stove in case we couldn't get any wood for the fire. Do you want some? No, save it. We're not that low yet, are we? Seven and threepence left to last the end of the week. Jesse gets paid on the 29th. I know which one's gone on the gin. Look, I've had now except what Jack's brought in. Thank heaven there's somebody that takes some notice. Do you know, for by the shops, oh. I've not been outside the house since last Christmas. That flaming oh, backyard wall, I've stayed right, up. Right, all right, listen, Pet, as soon as I'm back at work. Oh, well, I've heard it all before. No, Pet, I mean it. Honest. We'll have a deal, eh? Just the two, eh? Newcastle races, maybe. I've not been there many long, yeah? Aye. I mean it. Aye, I believe you. <laughs> uh, any sign of Tom? 
Well, God's name's he got to. Bloody leaks. It's not the first one, that's sure. How come? Phil Stoker lives there, he's got any burns. Wait, they know something. He'll tell me not. I thought he was a marrow of yours, Phil Stoker. Not anymore. What for? You're forgetting our black leg. Phil Stoker spat on me boots the other day. Hell. I'll give you a lot of stick. There's a lot not speaking. I don't blame them. Not everybody, though. No, the one that know the state mayor is in there speaking. Cool, like, but speaking. Well, that's something. Ah. Anyway, let's try these two. You take that one. Hold on a minute. Can I have a word with you, missus? What about? Your bairns, missus. What about them? I think they've been down my garden. No, not my bairns. Yes, missus, your bairns. Make a nice leak pudding, did you? What do you think you're doing? Oh, so it was leak broth, eh? And you know with what, missus? My best prize leaks. I'll beat the living daylight to no, them. No, no. Out the way, missus. Somebody's got to teach them a lesson. Oh, come, look at the bairns, man. Look at them. When did they last eat, missus? Yesterday. When yesterday? About dinner time. What did they have? End of a loaf, bit of marge. See, man, Tom, they're starving. Now forget it, man. Let's away home. Time to get back to the table, Henny. Come on, you out of that. Get on with it, and you up. I get paid for some washing tomorrow, they'll eat meat tomorrow. It's milk, missus. Get some milk down them. These bairns need calcium or they'll end up with rickets. Aye, I know that. Where's your man? France. I thought they were all back by now. Tom. No, not all. Oh, sorry, pet, I didn't think. Sorry. It's all right. Your pension doesn't stretch. It might if I had one. If you had a one? Not every widow gets one. Why not? You've got to be killed on active service. So? He was off duty, ten days leave, stepped in front of a French tram. Stepped? Where they wrote and said he was knocked down, but I... Oh, I reckon he stepped in front of it. He was due back at the front next day. Ah. Some of the boys shut their toes off, didn't they? Rather than go back. Ah, well, accident, off duty. So no pension. Could you credit it? The one shooting? God almighty. Well, how are you, Tom? I just told him not to work. Oh, yeah. Look, lass. What's your name? Carter. Elsie Carter. Oh, well, look, Mrs. Carter. You can come up and... I'm sorry I lost my temper. I am sorry and all. I wanted to send them back, but... Ah, oh, well, never mind. Forget it. Look, you can come up and get some leaks whenever you want. There's two sets up there. Some in the trench and some others right beside. Oh, the hell. Tell the bears to take the biggest ones they can find. It's very kind of you, but I'll bring I... them down if you don't come. All right, then I'll send them up. Look, Mrs. Carter, there's a soup kitchen down the market. Oh, no. Oh, no. They'll not buy me. We have all a soup. Good night, Mrs. Carter. Good night. Good night, lads. Thank you. Bella! His master's voice. How sweet upon the evening breeze. What time is it? It's getting on for half past nine. Where the hell's Tom? God knows. He's not at home. I've just been round to see Mary. I've been in. He cares more about his damn leaps than he does about his... How is she? Makes she weep. Billy? No idea. Always the same. Never hear when I wondered. We got any sacks? Oh, half a dozen tiny sacks in the backyard. Do you want them? Oh, not yet. Never mind. Can I get back to me bread, then? All right. What are we going to do about Billy? Oh, stop fretting. He'll changed his mind by now. You just wait and see. Jack made up his mind yet? About the new job, no. I don't seem too concerned. I've got other things to think about. Oh, there you are. Where have you, you been two. all this time? Hello, Tom. You look as though you'd lost a quid and found sixpence. Did you find your leaks? I could murder somebody. Anybody. Aye, we found them all right. Should have seen them, Jessie. And the mother know better. She'll be the next one with consumption. What's her name? Carter, up Clara Street. I know them. The youngest bairn, at least, Alfred, in my class last year, makes you weep. Tom! Time for something more than weeping. A good doctor with fire in his belly would be a start. Are you going back, then? I'm a hell. When's some beggar going to take notice of what I say? You're like a cage full of bloody budgies. What in God's name are you doing? Give your coat off and give us a hand. But what are you doing? Come on, see?
Have you gone crackers? Oh, no, don't you start. You're looking for coal? Well, I'm not digging for study kick. Right, it's not so daft, Billy. Come to think of it, I often find the odd bit cool when I'm digging a leak trench. Champion, champion. Right, let's get out to it. No, oh, not you, bunny lad. You spoil your hands. I told you it was a spell. Huh? How be you daft? Don't be daft, son. There's no call for you to ruin your hands. You'll need them for more delicate work. Not anymore. Billy, eh? no. Not anymore, I said. Not Take anymore. Take a notice, Dad. He's upset. Would somebody mind tell me what's going on in this house? Our Billy says he's not... Billy gonna... says he's not going back to university, but he's got another thing... Billy's not going back to Edinburgh and there's an end to it. But you might keep your voice down, you'll have the whole street in. Well, you're supposed to give me a hand. I'll need them sacks now, Bella. And call out shovel. Billy, you can hold the sacks while I'll start putting the muck in. But aren't you going to see... I thought you had some books to mark. They can... Books, Jesse. Tom, huh? you can start putting the mug up here in a minute. Right. Billy and me will start getting into the sacks. What are you going to do with the sacks? Well, I thought we'd scatter them on your garden. Maybe put it in the leak trench. Well, you've thought of everything, haven't you? <laughs> Don't mention it. Tom, ma'am. We've let the pit ponies up in the field next to the pit pond. All right. I'll have to nip up and fetch one. Hey, this is getting a bit wet, Tom. Aye, it is an old, damn it. Are you used to that, aren't you? Oh, aye, but we can do it without it here. Unless you fancy going down the pit and pinching a pump. <laughs> it's not that bad. Not yet. You have to look on the black side. Some habits is hard to break. You're not mad, Dad. Huh? Well, I thought you'd play war. It's your life. It's crazy, if you ask me. Nobody's asking you. So you're, you're not mad. I told you. It's your life. Now oh, hold the back straight, man, it's dribbling out. What's got into him? Why didn't he say something? I thought he'd hit the roof. Ah, oh, there's more ways of killing a cat than starving it to death. What's that supposed to mean? It means you can just wait and see. But Dad never said a word. Look, I told you, there's more ways oh, of Oh, for heaven's sake, cat. ma'am, stop talking in riddles. Look, I expected him to blow up and all, but you never know what's going on in his head. And our Billy takes after him. It may seem as different as chalk and cheese, but they're the same kind. Aye, stubborn. Stubborn as mules, the pair of them, that's what worries me. Aye, well, that's as maybe. But you or Dar see his piece when it suits him. And he's had time to think. You'd better be right. Suppose we do find coal. Who'll it belong to? Us. Aye, I know that, but I mean, whose is it according to the law of the land? Well, your bro's mining company, I expect. They own the rights. No, I don't think so. Huh? The land rent goes to Lord Lampton. So I suppose the mineral rights are Lord Lampton's and all. So we're not just taking his royalties, but taking his actual coal. Grand. Very satisfying. First time I've ever enjoyed me work. I don't suppose you'll miss it. <laughs> Hell he will. You know how much he gets in royalties? A thousand pounds a week. A thousand quid a week? Yeah, I've had it in the paper somewhere two or three weeks back. I'm surprised enough. all. What paper? Not any paper I read. Well, I've got others, you know. Ah, well, you've got to take what they say with your pinch of salt. Especially the figures. Oh, I'm not arguing with them. Huh? No, they'll be right enough. Here, Tom, I'll give you a spell. No, no, I'm going to find coal here if I have to work a double shift. <laughs> Thousand pound a week without stirring a finger. I'm going to claw a few bob back. Bet you won't be the Bose coal mine. I'd like to see us getting a bit out of the Bose lion family. But I can't be out of our family in that time, the Bose lions. The Duke of York's getting a bit off them. Yeah. Prince George, the Duke of York, he's getting a bit. How's that? Did not read about it in the paper. Oh, no, they wouldn't have it in your sort of paper, would they? You wouldn't be interested in gossip about the royal family, would you? Well, it depends, doesn't it? Ah, well, Prince George is busy courting one of the Bose lion daughters. Uh, Margaret, I think it is, or Juliet. Elizabeth. Oh. Hey, Billy, I was thinking, do you think she could do with a decent loaf of bread? Elizabeth Bo's lion. <laughs> Dad, don't talk daft, Elsie Carter. I'll have a batch ready in about half an hour. Do well, ma'am, she'll be grateful, but at those bends, it's milk that's got to be pumped into them. Yeah, we don't manage a pint. Ah, uh, well, I'll see what can be done. I'll keep one back here, two pound loaf. She'll appreciate it. And I'm sure she will. Why, this is getting very wet. My boots is in a right mess. Uh, hey, can't get an old pair of mine. Huh? I'll take over for a bit. No, let me, Dart. Your argument doesn't hold good anymore. About me hands, I mean. I don't care, man. Oh, you're dark. Why, it's got this wet now. I'd like to do me bit. It's ankle deep in clots. He's dark. I've got a pair of boots and all. What a mess. Look. Look, man. You're not cut out for this kind of work. Listen, Dart. Out the way. You're bloody useless. Any luck yet? No. I reckon we're wasting our time. Angle deep in clots. I don't know what we're going to do if it gets much worse. Can I not so. drain it somehow or another? Oh, I don't know. Dart yeah, might have some idea. Looks pretty bad to me. Has he said anything yet? No. I mean about Billy. Oh, about Billy? No. Nothing at all? Well, he just said it was his life. And that's all? Huh? Good Lord, can you not say something? A lot of good that'd do. 
Take no notice of me. I wish you'd let it rest, the lot of you. Oh, mother. It's more likely to take notice of you. He just refuses to listen. Look, I told you, didn't I? Leave it to your dad. But he's not saying anything. It's your life, he said, your life. What good is that? There he is, just about to ruin his life. Throw it all away. Three years of study down the drain, and all he can say is it's your life. God help us. Save me breath in future. Well, it is his life. Well, now don't you start. What's he going to do? Go down the pit like the rest of you? And what's wrong with that? Ah, you know, I didn't mean that. But we've got enough pitmen in the family. All right. Well, it's up to you, lass. He'll take damn all notice of me. Hey, I'm away on the night shift. Send him out here. Oh, Dara Billy. Billy, are you ready for some more tea yet? No, dear, say no. We're not used to this waitress service. I'll give you waitress service. Oh, Jesse wants a word with you. What's wrong with him? Oh, he's sulking because I called him useless. Tom, this is no good, man. We've got a stream run through here. Can we not bail it out with a bucket? Waste of time. Not enough draft for a bucket. But if they use a pint pot and that, we fill it up as soon as we'd empty it. Oh, I wish we had old Joe Robson here. He was a genius with drainage. I always managed to make his the driest place in the district. Can I go and ask him? Whatever job. He's six foot under an arm and not bothered about the wet. <laughs> was it the dust? How do you know? She's lad of copper. Aye. Stop this pinching coal this afternoon. Where were you pinching coal? Pit yard. In broad daylight. You ignorant now. God almighty, how useless can you get? And I thought you were supposed to have brains. All right. All right. I was stupid. But not half as stupid as you lot. That's your call out there. Our call. Tell me the old, old story. Pick up this bag for Tom. They're supposed to have abolished slavery, no, but you lot... the bag and save your lectures. You make me sick. Put a sock in it, will you? This muck's soaking into the floorboards. We'll get wet rot through the house while you're philosophizing about socialism. And another thing. Watch it, Fancy Milbourne, two doors up. Is he still caretaker at the town hall? All right, what about it? He's got a pump. Is he? What kind? It's a kind of hand fire pump. We used to play with it when we were kids. Hey, maybe he has good brains after all. Keeps on the shelf in his coal house. Ah, you mind it? Ah, it wasn't working here, though. The hose is too short. Pump out into a bucket. I'll put a longer hose on it and pump it straight out the window. By lad, you're right. How do we and fetch it, son? What a brick to keep out the clots here. Keep us going for another foot, at least. Aye. Well, we'll see. I've no time to talk, so don't stop us. There's the boot you wanted. Where's the fire? Put my cup on there, ma'am, and I'll take it through. No, I'll do it. Let me, ma'am. I want to. Aye, I know. It's one I'm afraid of. Well, I could do the pumping, couldn't I? No, it's all right. I'll do it. Look, I've got boots on now. Let me do it. All right, then. You insist. <sighs> Any fuel can work a pump. Do you have to? What? Never mind. First time I've done anything useful since I came home. Join the slaves at last, have you? you get your reed between the shoulder blades. It's working. Is the weather level going down? I think so. Slowly. No, shut up, Tom. Because all that Billy's going to give us a lecture on the dignity of labour. And you can shut up and all, Jesse. You finished. Keep pumping. You're right determined to make me feel useless, aren't you? Oh, what's the matter, son? You're not tired already, are you? How wait, Tom, get a bear in a hand. Lay off it, Dar. What are you playing at? We're trying to get the water level down, remember? Up and down, regular strokes. Dad, he's trying to go the way from it. How do you wish, Jesse? Of course, it's dark now, Billy. Fancy a chance of pinching a proper pump from the pit. <laughs> you. What's the college boy trying to see in there? College boy? Is that all I can get in this flaming town? You don't know the half. Can't you see they're trying to break you? They've got troops crawling all over the place. What's he talking about, troops? They're camping out over the coal fields. I've seen them. Didn't know what was going on at first. Oh, I told you, Wilson, the barman down the pub. He's a reservist. He's been called up and all. Oh, aye, what's that for, eh, Tom? No war with Germany on the cards. Is that what it is? So Karl Marx is expecting a revolution, is he? It's not me that's expecting to dodge the government. They're scared stiff. Keep pumping. Look, there's a million and a half unemployed, another million out on strike. They promised the lads a land fit for heroes when they finished the war. And what they come back to, the same flaming mess they left behind. I've been reading too many of your bulky papers, kidder. You don't need to read papers. You can see it with your own eyes. Look at Elsie Carter and her bairns. Now, do you think Lord Lappin's bairns look like that? Do you think the Bose Lion's bairns look like that? 
course they do, because they've got the wealth, they like it, and they're going to keep it. Oh, you're not doing so bad, son, but I wish you'd get back to your pump. Look, Dar, I want to find coal down there. I do. And I'll pump water for the rest of my life till I do find it. Not so much to lay the fire as to get back at Lord Lampton, is that it? When you could be treating Elsie Carter's bairns. Can you not get it into your thick heads? There's a ward full of bairns with rickets in the infirmary. There's bound to be. And there's doctors treating them. But what for? Getting them back on their feet to send them straight back to the same rotten system that put them there in the first place. I want to be a socialist doctor, not a capitalist doctor. Listen. And it's no use you talk. Listen. There's somebody at the door. I heard somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door and it's nearly midnight. Quick. Everybody into the shop. Everything with you. Tom. Billy. Hey, Jesse. Come Wait. No. You take your time, Axel. Keep on talking. You pull the cop down over the top. Jack, go and tell them. Come it's all right, lads. It's just Jack. I nearly had a stroke. What are you doing, Connor? This time. Oh, I didn't have time to ask. Hey, did you hear what I heard? Hi. What? What do you mean? How are you? Everybody out. What did you hear? Shut sure up now, the lot of you. And listen. Now, don't get too excited. It could be a dream. It cannot be a dream. Man, we wouldn't have all this water. It cannot be a dream. It's cold out, isn't it? Well, it's not time to be. Could be the odd bit of Sanson or a heartbreak, even. There's only one we had to find out. Yeah. Yes. You're a funny lot, you pit folk. First you refuse my call, now you're digging your own. It's a different principle, Jack. They're not doing anybody down. Might be stealing, but it's not stealing jobs. Oh, well, I was never one to go in for philosophy. Anyway. What's kept you up so late? Oh, I've been quite busy, really. What, doing at this time of night? Oh, just walking about the woods. Come on, what have you been doing? Give us a kiss and I'll tell you. Hey, Jack, anybody might come in. Oh, yeah, give us a kiss. Now, you step back, Jesse, and I'll show you something. It should be you that's taking the decisions. Ah, uh, so the college boys come home to tell the folk what to do, eh? The field college boy. Now, don't look at me like that, son, because it's true. What Pittman's going to listen to you? But Here's I... the facts, lad. You're worse than useless because you've got no skill, no trade, no craft, no nothing. And you'll not get one now, man. It's too late. I've got but, more than... But, Bonnie lad, if there's an uprising... Man, I can't see it happening, but if there is an uprising, I'll tell you one thing we'll be short of, and that's doctors. Socialist doctors. There'll be plenty on the other side. Now, you start looking after a few Joe Robsons, and Pittman will start listening to what you say. But at the moment, you might as well face the fact, man, you're bloody useless. Can I get a word in there, Jules? Thank you. I was about to have a deco at this. Hey, <laughs> man! <laughs> All right, you win. Yay! Yeah, 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 what on earth? They've found coal, they must have. <laughs> Jack, do it again. Put your coat over the top and do it again. No. Hi, it'll be marvellous. You'll see. All right. You found some, man. Come yes. and see, Jesse. Come and see. Billy, Billy, Billy. Give us a Shut chance. Up. How much, Tom? How much? Why, it's hard to tell. I don't know how thick it is, but it sounds solid enough. Ah, uh, there'll be a bucket or two in there anyway. Yeah, well, we will supply the street. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, we found it, man. We found it. <laughs> well, I gathered as much. How soon can I have some for the fire, then? Oh, well, it'll take half an hour for the first bucketful. It'll be quicker after that. Hey, maybe I can get a shot fired in and blast it out. <laughs> Come a bit quicker, then. <laughs> hey, Dad, can I take a bucket full to Elsie Carter? You can take a bucket back to Edinburgh if you like, son. Grand. Some bread and some coal. And a pint of milk, eh? That's really worth. <laughs> and maybe Jack would give you something. Jack? Why? What's he got? Why? Over there, buddy. What's it all? Oh. Show him all you've got, Jack. Hey. Boy! What a sight! What a wonderful sight! <laughs> Mouth's watering already. Come on, I don't think you bought that lot, Jack. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's the champagne. Surprised at you, Jack lad. Fancy for getting the champagne. Well, I haven't any bubbly, but I thought I might get cold out in the woods, so I went prepared. Hey, hey. Jack lad, what would I do without you? Hey, Mum, I think you should give us a toast before you have a supper. Yeah, yeah, we, we haven't had cause to celebrate for a bit. Toast? Dear me. 
Hey, Jack Lot, where'd you get that lot? Did you ask? I oh. thought as much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's to Lord Lumpton. Uh, Lord Lumpton! Here's to Lord Dance to the daddy, sing to the mummy, dance to the daddy, to the mummy, sing. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the fishy when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the haddock when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the bloater when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the mackerel when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have the fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have the salmon when the boat comes in. <laughs>